Yes, welcome to the big one. This is the quarterfinals of the Australian Open of Grand Slam Aga. This is episode 8. I am Ian. We are taking on this lady. Everyone should know her. Serena Williams. She is absolutely fantastic. Um, in the, the, the game, the actual save file, she hasn't actually played yet. This is her first tournament. Um... So, yeah, I mean, she's obviously doing really well. She's into the quarterfinals. Uh, these two players have met uh, six times in the real world, um, and Williams has, unsurprisingly, won all six. There's only been one game, in fact, that's actually gone to three sets. Otherwise, Williams has won straight sets every single time. I'm not expecting any difference, uh, to be honest. I'm expecting this to be much the same. And I forgot to lob again. I'm really hoping we don't go out in straight sets. That'd be a disaster. If we can push it to three, then it's an improvement. Oh, Jesus. Of course, the uh, the last time uh, these two met in the real world, as of recording this, was the semi-final of the Australian Open. And uh, if any of you managed to watch that, the first set... I mean, you should watch the highlights. The first set... Uh, Williams won 6-love, and it was uh, a complete walkover, basically. Bad Fonsko, it was, it was a bloodbath. I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's a blue court, but it was it was red by the end of that that set. It was a complete massacre. Williams just, yeah, Red Fonsko had no reply to Williams. And at the moment, it looks like this could be going the same way, because I am really struggling. And that doesn't help when you start off with a double fault. We haven't actually had a winner yet. Oh my goodness, mate. 30, 30. That ace has helped. Juice. Brings up juice. We needed that. Williams with the advantage. Net for service. I'm wondering if uh, if the drop shots are what we need, just to stop Williams from uh, getting into her her power shots. But that was a great. What was that backhand? So we hold our serve just about. So we're already up over the uh, performance of Radvonska in the real world. I should try to be a bit more, a uh, bit more interesting with my commentary rather than just making sound effects. This could be a real marathon game.
Tell you what, the guys that made this mod, you can... I mean, fair play to them. You can really tell the difference between the players. Particularly someone like Williams. You can just see that power in her shots on this game. 15, and we are amazingly in a break point position here. And we have, we've just broken her with an amazing backhand winner. I mean, if I win this game in sort of straight sets, then perhaps I need to up the difficulty a little bit. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Because she can very easily do something like that. And she's in the box seat to break us straight back. Oh. Unforced errors don't help. Just like that, we broke her, but she broke us straight back. I don't think she even broke a sweat in that game. So we're still locked at 2-2. I should remember the lob a lot more, but uh, when they come up to the net, if I can just sort of power it past them, I'm usually in with a chance. Perhaps I shouldn't get into these uh, power struggles, but we've just done the same thing. Two points in a row. I mean, in the game... Serena is labelled as a uh, power baseliner, which you know is 100% accurate. So perhaps if I draw her to the net, she can't get those powerful forehands and backhands against this. Was we've got break point? We're up love 40, if you can believe that. She broke us in the last game where we didn't win a point, and now could well possibly be a reversal of fortunes. But let's worry about that. As I am pressing the wrong button again. No. I don't know what noise is. I don't know what sound effect that was. I was about to say my god and then I thought no I won't say that and I just went Mur. I'm doing cow noises here. But we do, we break her. Three consecutive broken games between the two of us. There you go, that was the lob that I wanted. And it got us a point as well. I think a uh, an increase in difficulty might be forthcoming. I just have the worst luck. As soon as I start saying bagging the AI out, they obliterate me. Net for service. 
And when I say I'm uh, just really struggling against them, I, I do really well. So we could well be holding our serve and taking a two game lead here in this first set. And I just pressed the wrong button, so this could well be a double fault. Oh, it's not. There you go. There is a god. That was a nice lob, which she should be capitalising on. The unforced error gives us a 4-2 lead. Can we break Serena for a third consecutive time? I'd be quite interested to know, actually, with the increase in difficulty, if that will create more aces, because I don't really get too many aces against me, particularly now. I mean, I was originally in the first couple of games, um, but I think that was just, you know, me still learning the controls and learning how to react and that sort of thing. But, uh, oh, lovely shot. We're up love 30. But I do feel like uh, an increase in difficulty might create a few more aces against us. I mean, particularly someone like William. She should be getting quite a few aces. She's got such power. Kvitova, in fact, you know, she's got one of the best serves in the, the women's tour. And, and she didn't get any aces against us, I don't think, in that last game. It was a couple of days ago when I last recorded. As we've got Serena moving around. And we have got break point, so yeah, perhaps the uh, the difficulty could be bumped up a little bit. I'll definitely bump this up. If we win this game, particularly if we win it in straight sets, in the next game I'll bump the difficulty up. Perhaps three or four notches. Because there's five levels, and then each level has got ten sub-levels. And I'm literally playing in the middle. I'm playing on the third uh, difficulty level in the fifth sub-level, if that makes sense. So there's ten levels, uh, ten levels, ten sub-levels of the five levels, if that makes sense. So there's 50 difficulty settings, and I'm basically playing on, on 25, so I'm, perhaps I might bump that up to to 30 or something like that. But, you know, perhaps I'm talking a little bit too soon here, because Williams has just brought this back to juice. But by bringing it up, you know, to the top of this, uh, this third level, this junior level, as it's called, and then the next step up would be, uh... Club, I think it is, which um, is basically the same um, in terms of AI. I have no disadvantages over the human player. But when they do shots like that, it does make me fear the club level of fraction because she's got advantage, so she could be holding her serve here. She comes up to the net, and I have pressed the wrong button. There you go, get the lob. She doesn't reach it. And we bring it back to Juice. Yes. Because uh, Serena Williams hasn't actually played in a tournament so far in this save, if we do win this, it's uh, I think the storyline's going to be that perhaps she was you know still recovering a little bit from the flu, which is why we won. That's going to be my story. We have advantage. And there's my uh, my first air swing. I still haven't got that counter up yet. I don't think I'll bother. I don't think there's enough room on the screen for the amount of air swings that I've done. Let's go back to break point. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, two straight air swings. I'm doing well. Now, if Williams doesn't take advantage of me 
swatting at thin air, then she doesn't deserve to win. That was a great play by Williams, though. I didn't actually think she was going to get there. And she's got advantage now. That's not what I wanted to do. As the drop shot works, we bring it back to Juice yet again. Yeah. I said drop shot, I did mean lob. That's three straight lobs that uh, Serena hasn't been able to reach. And we have stuffed that up. And that was a very, very poor shot. So Serena does hold her serve. Still up 4-3 though. That was a very long service game as well. We had Williams running all over the joint there. And we thoroughly deserve our 30 love lead. We dodged a bullet. We, if you were watching Radvonska, we were running the, the wrong way. So we were quite fortunate. And another mistake is we just wrapped that game up really quickly. So this is uh, Serena serving to stay in this set. When she wants to, she can just power those shots well away from us. Third air swing. We're doing very well. Great drop shot. Williams is going to reach it. But she can't clear the net. So we're just prolonging this game a little bit longer. Oh, I don't know how we reached that. That was pure luck, I think. That was a great backhand winner. Excellent stuff. That brings juice yet again on Williams' to serve. The last time Williams served, when it went to advantage, it was our mistakes, it was our unforced errors that, that gave her, uh, her her game. And we've put her advantage as well on an unforced error in this one but she hit that to New Zealand I think because we brought that back to juice oh lovely that brings up set point we take advantage for the first time in this game Oh. 
Yeah, you can fist pump. Taunting us. Back to set point again. And we do it. There you go. We win the first set. It took 40 minutes, nearly 41 in fact. Um, otherwise, look, we're all pretty, very similar, aren't we? The unforced errors though, we've only got five unforced errors. But those five have been quite costly for us. Um, otherwise, Williams' 20 unforced errors have been uh, really affecting her game. So, and five return winners for her. That's, that's huge as well. We're really struggling with those return winners. So we do take the first set 6-3. Is that a sign of things to come, or is Williams now going to step up? Net for service. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to reach that one. But as I'm, uh, I'm playing this game, I, it's, you know, I'm sort of concentrating, oh, nice shot. I'm concentrating so much that I'm not really watching the game, if that makes sense. I'm, you know, too busy in the game to, to see what I'm doing right or wrong. So let me know in the comments, as she's about to break us, let me know in the comments if you think I should increase the difficulty of a fraction. There she goes, there you go, so she's broken us to start the second set. What I don't want to do is, uh, I don't want to sort of stroll through to the Australian final and win it straight away. I mean, if, if I win it, I win it, but it's not much fun watching me just breeze through the competition, particularly against someone like Serena Williams, who, I mean, should be giving us a really tough time. And that 6-3 uh, first set was all us, really. I didn't actually see the stats to see how, uh, how many break points uh, we had, but it was an awful lot, I think, as we're just about getting to that one. Just in again. I think I need to learn to place my lob shots a little better because uh, all of them have gone straight, straight over the top in the middle. If that makes sense. What's that? That's only a sixth unforced error. Oh. Ho, ho. So the unforced error gives us the game. So we we've, we've both broken each other. Neither of us has held serve in the second set so far. Now I didn't air swing on that one. I was a million miles out of position. Again, I think on. Uh, I think on club difficulty, which is obviously the next level up, I would get very punished for some of these sort of simple mistakes that I make. But the unforced errors on things like that would, would be right down. I mean, this is a rare... St oh, Jesus. This is a rare good performance from Rafonsko because I've... Against Lee Na, which was our first real test, we, uh, we we were never in that game. Then against Kavita in the last game, we, we won it in straight sets. And I, I can't even remember the score, but the first set we weren't too troubled. I think it was 6-2, wasn't it? And then we won the second one 7-5. Um, and that one was tough. 
That was a tough set to win, and I really didn't want to go to a third set. Or maybe, I mean, do I increase the difficulty, or do I change the controls to simulation controls? Now, I'm not entirely sure of the difference, but I do think the uh, positioning matters a lot more uh, than it does now. I mean, positioning is still quite important. I mean, obviously, I'm air-swinging all over the shop. But I think perhaps increasing the difficulty, uh, but keeping it arcade controls, will... Uh, create a, a sort of a realistic game. Because obviously if I go to simulation controls, poor old Red Vonska is going to be doing air shots all over the, all over the place. I mean, already there's, there's far too many. 15, Another good lob shot. I mean, if we break her here, then I can say with confidence that I think it's going to be game over. Because Williams hasn't really looked like taking a stranglehold on this game. She's broken us a couple of times, but we've broken her straight back. Just like that, I mean, these these unforced errors are just piling up. I feel like we don't even have to be on the court. We could probably win a couple of games. I mean, we could be breaking her again here. And we do. We've broken her again, so it's 3-1 now. In the second set. Williams really needs to win this, otherwise we're, uh, we're going to be pulling right away. So I've been asking you, actually, what you guys think, if I should, uh, oh, I shouldn't have hit that, if I uh, should increase the difficulty or not. I think I've already made up my mind, I think I will. I'll bring it to the top of the junior level, and, uh, and then see how we go from there, particularly if we win this game. I, I don't know who we're playing next. I think most likely it's going to be uh, Sharapova. So that'll be fun. I might have to... Uh, when I'm editing that video, I might have to turn the volume down. Because, as you've probably noticed with uh, with Williams, they the person that made this mod um, has given the, the voices, like the, the grunts and the groans, uh, to all the players. So, Maria Sharapova. We'll, of course, be blowing everyone's eardrums out on this game. As we bring it back to 30 all. 30 all. Because, obviously, to what I need to do, uh, letting you, you know, behind the, the curtain here, what I do is I play the game on my TV at home, actually. My computer's connected up to my TV. So I've got headphones um, connected into my computer so that I can hear the, hear the game, the tennis game, going on. But... Whilst I'm recording, the, the microphone uh, audio is on a separate track. So it allows for, for basic editing and that sort of thing. Uh, at the moment, I like having the volume... Oh, and there you go. So Williams has broken us. Yeah, so I like to have the volume up uh, really high on my, uh, my headphones. Just to uh, feel like I'm, I'm actually at the game. But with Maria Sharapova squealing every time she hits it, I mean, I I don't really want to put up with that for 40 minutes. It'll be even more annoying if I turn the ball if I turn the difficulty up. Another error by Williams. We could be breaking her again, straight back. Great drop shot. Williams is up to it though, and we've done a rare unforced error in this game. Drop shot. Williams is going to reach it. She's not going to reach that one. 
and we move up, up to break point yet again. The other thing that I'd be quite interested in uh, in knowing by increasing the difficulty is the um, the energy bars over on the left hand side of the screen. Um, they don't really. Uh, uh, yes, there you go. We have broken. That was a good rally. Um, yeah, the energy bars don't move a great deal. The top one of the two, um, well, the top two bars uh, within each. Uh, what, what do you call it? I don't even know. What do you call it? Because you see, obviously, the top one's uh, Serena Williams, and the, the bottom one is, of course, Red Monster. But the top uh, bar is energy within this this game, which you can see drops quite a lot, but it does come back. Uh, for each game, uh, for each point, rather, it does um, make a little recovery. But the bottom one, the heart, is actually the sort of the overall health, um, which obviously, as a game progresses, particularly in like a five-set game, obviously that starts to go down. But it doesn't seem to be dropping that much. I mean, this game's been going for over an hour, and neither player has lost a great deal of overall energy, and we've had some pretty long rallies. So I. I wonder if it's just because we're on the lower difficulty that... It, oh, if we're on the lower difficulty, if uh, it doesn't really factor that in too much. As the air swing gives uh, Williams break point. And she could well be winning this because I've just pressed the wrong button. No. She's getting annoyed, I think. She wants to win this one. Oh, and she does. So she breaks us. 4-3. We're still leading. But uh, she seems to have uh, stepped up her game a little bit. I really hate those rallies when you come up to the net because you can't really control the shot because the ball comes back to you so quickly that you don't really have any uh, opportunity before the AI sort of goes into automatic hit mode, if you know what I mean. So I don't really get any say and I'm, we end up just sort of ping-ponging it back to one another. Go break point again. That was a great winner. And we are at five three, and we are serving for the match. I wouldn't have picked this. I mean, I thought we, you know, had the possibility of winning, but I honestly thought it was going to be a, a sort of three-set slugfest. But it's actually been a little bit of a walkover. Kvitova provided more of a challenge than Williams so far. I mean, the game's not over, so I should perhaps concentrate. The unforced errors on Williams' side has just been hurting her so much. I don't think I've ever seen so many unforced errors in my life in one game before. Oh, excellent. That brings up match point. That was a fantastic shot. And we've done it. No, we haven't, because the Red Wanska decided to hit it. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you can just see Williams winning this point, can't you? Yep. She's gonna drag this game out now. And she brought it to Juice. If your player is, is very close to the ball when it comes back to them, they automatically hit it. And that's exactly what happened when it was match point just before. I stood there thinking Radvonska's not going to hit it, and she did. And now Williams has fought her way back into this game. And she's got advantage, so she could be breaking us now. <laughs> All from that match point. Oh, but the ace brings it back. That was needed. Match point again for the second time. And the ace wins it. That is how we progress. That was a David versus Goliath battle and we come away victorious. What was it? 6-3, 6-3 in the end. And uh, we have a quick look, the return winners, 10 return winners by Serena Williams, that was huge. But uh, other than that, I mean those four aces, we got four aces, how good was that? Uh, the 37 unforced errors by Williams really cost us. I did think uh, we played very well, I mean the 11 unforced errors is, is a very low number, we're usually factionally higher than that. So uh, I think, you know, on the whole, both Rad Vonsgren and myself actually performed quite alright. Um, but I do think it's time to... Uh, to bump the difficulty up because here we go we are into the semi-finals and we've actually got an achievement on steam uh, an upset win so it does look like we're taking on yep we're taking on maria sharapova who won six four six one over svitolina um she actually won the brisbane open maria sharapova if you remember so this is going to be a real uh real tough encounter so i will uh increase the difficulty um, probably bump it up three or four sub levels uh, within junior and then we'll sort of go from there and if we keep winning then we'll bump it up perhaps another one maybe even put it you know in to the low club level um, otherwise thanks for watching make sure you pop a like on there if you've got any feedback comments please let me know I'm always keen to hear them and uh, we'll see you in a couple of days for the next episode against Maria Sharapova thanks for watching